halfway through a troop carrier build at the moment. Um, so I thought I might start doing some videos, um, just to each little step that we're doing, just as we build it. It's gonna be a little bit different than, um, than the majority of the ones that are getting built at the moment, which is pretty exciting. Uh, there's some, there is some big mods coming up over the next six months, which is pretty cool. Uh, so uh, we'll do some videos on those and I'll post them up. Uh, today's little project, we're doing a bit of a table on that rear drop down barn door. Um, so just a little bit of storage, give us a bit more surface area so we can do some um, preparing, some coffees and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, let's get into it, eh? So we've removed that door card, just exposing that inner door panel. We can then decide where we want to have those uh, recessed pieces in there. Uh, I've decided to have those three recessed pieces there. Those cuts there will allow those strengthening ribs to be intact on the door. Um, so we'll get into cutting them out now. Righto guys, a bit of an update. You'll have to bear with me, I'm not used to using these selfie sticks and filming like this, but we'll, we'll get through it. Hopefully I'll get used to it. Um, so yeah, I've done the, um, cut out the door panelling on the, on the door here, ready for those inserts to go in. So it'll have three inserts on there, um, which I've started building. I've got the insert there, I've got the fascia. Um, I've cut that out, started to do that. Um, that took me, Bit longer than expected, a bit fiddly, um, but we got there. So yeah, we'll chip away at that, get the other inserts built, and um, yeah, hopefully start to get that table, the drop down section of that table sorted as well. So we'll see how we go. Legends, bit of an update. Got my boxes sorted. Just sealing the back of that fascia plate. Might go and have something to eat, I think. Rip in after lunch.
Right guys, bit of a recap from today. So I've got these door inserts done. So they're all lined, all in there. These two here will get mounted to the face plate. And this one here is already mounted in. With a bit of a retainer cord in there for whatever we put in there. Um, and a bit of foam in there also for a couple of cups. So um, all that's done. Got this thing getting sealed. It's our face plate, that's the inner side of it. Uh, so we'll get that on. And then also this afternoon, just done the uh, drop down table. So that's cut out, routed up. So um, yeah, that's today done. We'll get into it tomorrow, finish her off. See you guys. Right guys, a little bit of time's passed, but the table's all done and dusted. Uh, a couple of little things to finish off on it. I want to add a few things to the outside of the, um, the drop down section of the table. I need to get those little um, little extras fabricated, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So I might just give you a bit of a run through on the table and how it's looking now. So let's go and have a look at it. Hello guys, here's the table here. So it come up alright. Got that external um, grab handle there. Um, the table is secured by these two bungee cords. So that keeps it nice and sturdy. Stops it from vibrating around. Um, I've got the two wires here that's going to support the table when it's deployed. Um, and then all stainless steel uh, screws, brackets, D shackles, and everything. Everything there is all stainless steel, so hopefully shouldn't corrode. Bit of longevity with the big girl. Um, so yeah, I'll drop it down and show you what it looks like. So there's the table there, all deployed. It's got your two wires there. Uh, all, as I said, all stainless. Hinges all stainless. It's all pretty sturdy. Spot for the wine there. Little cheeky hideaway. Couple of spots for the um, coffee drip pods. Couple of um, little enamel coffee mugs there. And um, a spot to put all the coffee beans as well. So, I mean, you can probably put whatever you want in there really, but it's a good little coffee station. Um, I've already had it out and about. It's tried and tested. So yeah, it's a bloody good thing. Happy with it. Um, yeah, I probably could have got away with it and just bought one of the ones that everyone else buys, just those run of the mill things, but yeah, it was just a good little project. I mean, it's probably not the lightest one either. It is all timber, um, stainless steel, but you know, it is what it is. Kept me um, occupied for a few days anyways. But yeah, pretty happy with it. Looks pretty good. Might have to try and keep that theme throughout the build. So there's the drop down table guys. If you enjoyed that and you're interested in this kind of thing, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and there'll be more of this stuff coming up. Anyways, till the next one, hook in.